What's going on guys, Andrew Pelikaki here back with another video and today we're going to be discussing the latest reports surrounded around Matt Duchesne and we're also going to touch on Mark Stone. So basically on Saturday's headlines we got another insight on the Ottawa Senators and what they might be doing leading up to the February 25th NHL trade deadline with Matt Duchesne and Mark Stone. And of course, these are two big names that are going to be hitting the market possibly, and that's where we're going to get to here. So Elliot Friedman uh, reports that the Ottawa Senators have re-engaged uh, in talks with Mark Stone regarding his contract. Hopefully, they're, they're trying to get something done. We've heard before with Duchesne and Stone that there's been interest in trying to uh, get those guys signed, but you know, as the time has gone on, it's been, oh, is Duchesne going to sign long term? Oh, maybe they'll keep Stone. It's been back and forth. And that's why it's crazy. I keep talking about it in videos. Literally a three-game winning streak, a three-game losing streak, a player saying something, a player not saying something, a player scoring five goals, not scoring, whatever. Anything can change on a daily basis. And with the Ottawa Senators, you know, I'm surprised they haven't been talking to both more often because I think that they actually both fit quite well in Ottawa, regardless of what's been going on. I think that they have a decent future uh, with the team because I think that with Kachuk and whoever they bring in, they actually might not be that bad. And we know uh, Dezingle as well is another guy that they're going to have to deal with. But, you know, with all these rumors, it's, it's, it's just crazy. It switches all the time. So, uh, again, Nick Kiprios also said that the structure of the contract and signing bonuses appear to be the issue. And Chris Johnson said uh, rumors had the Vegas Golden Knights interested in Stone, but uh, he gets the sense they're not interested in the rental market at all. They might pursue Stone if, be if he becomes a UFA, because that's the other thing. Of course, Stone and Duchesne are UFAs. So the Ottawa Senators need to, to do something now because they can let them play for the rest of the year without a contract here and then they'll be gone and they'll be gone for nothing or they can get them locked up to a contract or they can just trade them and, and bring in stuff to make sure that they get something back. Uh, Friedman also said the Senators are quietly testing the trade market for Senator Matt Duchesne. He expects trade talks should heat up uh, over the next several days. So basically it, it's it's inevitable like one of them has to get traded here because uh, they're not going to be able to get both of these contracts done by the 25th. At least that's what I think, unless they just give them a bunch of money. But if we're looking at some more tweets here to go in, uh, David Pagnotta the, from the fourth period said, uh, the New York Islanders are one of the several teams that are interested in Ottawa's uh, Matt Duchesne and have spoken uh, to the Sens about a, p a potential deal. So the Islanders are already kicking tires there. We have Pierre Lebrun saying, not surprisingly, word is that several teams from both conferences have shown interest in Ottawa on Duchesne. Believe that Columbus and Nashville are among the teams that have checked in uh, with the Senators on him. So Duchesne seems to be immediately hitting the market. If he does hit the market, of which apparently he is, that teams are really calling. So uh, Darren Dreger also said, unless there's a last minute change, the Ottawa Senators plan on trading Matt Duchesne. So plan on trading is, is quite um, deep there. I guess you could say if they plan on it, then he's probably gone. Uh, Mark Stone's future in Ottawa should also be determined early this week, well in advance of the trade deadline. So if they don't think Stone can get done either, they're going to have to trade these guys. I think that they really want to get back good value. I still think that they didn't get back the value they wanted uh, for some of their other players like Hoffman, Carlson. Like They did get good value, but I, I just don't think that they got exactly what they really wanted there. So if we're looking at Matt Duchesne this season with the Senators, 49 games played, he's got 56 points. He's had a pretty good season, 27 goals, 29 assists. Uh, th this would be a great rental for uh, a lot of teams, uh, unless the team acquires him and signs him long term, which I don't think so. If Duchesne gets traded, he's testing the open market, and uh, if that's what he's telling the Senators, then he's probably set in stone that he's he's uh, testing the market set in stone. See what I did there? Uh, anyway, so uh, basically his remaining daily cap hit is over a million dollars, 1.5 million, but I believe the AAV would obviously stay the same, uh, which is $6 million. I think a lot of teams will really be interested in this player, and like those tweets have said, there's already teams kicking tires on him. Looking at Mark Stone, this season in 58 games played, he has 59 points, 27 goals, 32 assists. And if the Senators lock him up, that's great. If not, uh, right now his cap hit is $7.3 million. Uh, yeah, I mean, his daily, uh, his remaining daily cap hit is $1.9 million. So again, I think a lot of teams would be interested, although the AAV probably stays the same. But uh, just 
I, I keep checking Twitter to see if there's any updates because it seems like literally stuff changes on the drop of a dime. And that's what I keep trying to explain to people is that literally even though the Senators are saying today that they're planning on trading Duchesne, tomorrow there could be a contract offer if they feel like a deal could get done or Stone might sign a deal or he might just say I'm testing free agency so you know a trade's gonna happen it's craziness we're closing in on the February 25th NHL trade deadline and if I am the Senators I'm trading both and the reason I'm saying that is I, I do think that while you are having these talks with them if this contract wanted to get done, it should have been done in the, the off season, especially with Mark Stone. I thought for sure they would try to lock him up long term. And again, I'm not in those offices. I don't know what goes down. But I thought Stone would have signed a long term deal already uh, if he really wanted to stay. And if you're getting this close to the deadline and these players are still kind of like, oh, I don't know, we're not really close on the deal. And especially now with Duchesne, apparently they plan on trading him. I think it's in the best interest for the Senators to just try to get as much as they can. They need some picks. They need some first round picks this year. Of course, they don't have theirs because they gave it to the Avalanche for Duchesne. Uh, so if the Avalanche, get, they're going to have two first round picks, at least depending on what other moves they make. So I think that it would be smart for them to try to bring up some more younger players. Of course, they've got a guy like Shabbat back there who looks real good. Uh, and, you know, Kachuk. They, they've got a lot of decent young guys there. Uh, and, of course, Shabbat and Kachuk are not decent. They're good players. But th it's going to be interesting to see what they do. I'm very excited uh, for the deadline. And for the interest of Ottawa Senators fans, I do hope that one of them does stay or stick around because I know that there's a lot of people like Brian Five or Six. He would like to, to hold on to at least one of them or both. Uh, in a perfect world, Senators fans get both these guys locked up before the deadline. They stick around. They they stick around for the the long haul and a rebuild really takes shape because you have a chance to to build around a decent core of a couple young guys, a, a couple really good scores, and you know try to just work around with other pieces you have on the team. Uh, Dzingle maybe gets signed, which again we're not even sure what's going on there. So this is interesting, uh, and for the fans of trades like myself. Um, Although I do, I do have an interest for the fans as well to, to keep their players. I would like to see them moved. I'd like to see teams get more competitive uh, leading up to the NHL trade deadline here. Should be a lot of fun. And, and that's what we have so far on Duchesne and Stone. So we'll have to see what happens. This could be updated daily. Again, I do daily NHL trade rumor videos. So make sure to stick around. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs. But we're currently uh, just trying to lock in at 5. So... Thank you guys so much for supporting. Click like if you like the video. Make sure to click notifications so you're notified for all my videos and streams. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.